<laughs> Monty Python's Spamalot is coming to the Connecticut Repertory Theater, and we are lucky enough to have one of its stars here on Style. Yeah, this is really cool. Comedy icon Richard Klein joins, joins us here live in studio. Welcome here to Style. Hi, I'm an icon. Icon? What do you think? There's a lot of pressure in being an icon. Well, you... It's tough, right? <laughs> it's, it, now, compared to being a star, it's like up here, right? It's a, there's star icon. I, you know, these shows, it's so amazing. When we did Three's Company, uh, you don't think that for the next 35 years it'll be in reruns. Yeah. But like, it is. Like, all, like it is. We watch it's it. I mean, you could still watch it. Yeah. 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 Larry, da Larry Dallas. Larry Dallas. Larry. <laughs> I, uh, I, like, I'll be in a cab or whatever, and, uh, you know, the cab drivers in New York are from various lands and whatever. And, and it's got, I got in a cab, this is years ago, he says, Laddie! And I go, what? He says, I learned English from you in Zimbabwe. Oh, no, oh my kidding. gosh! Oh, you know. How crazy wow. is that? Isn't that weird? That's wild. I mean, but your career, you've been, uh, you were on Three's Company. I mean, in recent days, Gilmore Girls, Bold no, and no, the No, no, recent beautiful. days, the Americans had played Martha's hu uh, husband, <laughs> her father. <laughs> what? I <laughs> played Martha's father on The Americans. Yeah, uh, which is a wonderful gig. And I just had a movie with Mike Birbiglia, who's, uh, it's not a name that everybody knows, but they should, because he's sort of like this brilliant comedian. Um, and it's called uh, Don't Think Twice. And what was fun was I did it with um, Keegan-Michael Key from Key and Peele. Oh, cool. Oh, nice. Great. You remember him from Problem Child? Do I, personally? Yeah, I do. <laughs> my daughter was in Problem Child. <laughs> Go figure. My, my daughter, Colby, was five years old in, in Problem Child. No. Directed by my best friend Dennis Dugan, who then went on to do pretty much all of Adam Sandler's movies. Mm. Wow! So, what's the secret to the staying power here? Uh, I have this theory about old act. Old actors never retire; they just forget their lines. And that's it. <laughs> Should we have a rim shot that we could put in post? Um, no, I mean I. You know, it's, I've been doing this for a long time. Mm -hmm. And you've done, uh, you've been on, you were in Wicked, so you're no yes. stranger to theater. I was in Wicked for a year and a half. Uh, did we play Connecticut? Uh, Boston is the closest I think yeah. we got. But my co-star in Spamalot, mm -hmm. Marianne Torres, uh, was a standby for Alphabo. She went on about 50 times. So you're reunited. Mm -hmm. We're reunited. It's, it's amazing. It's a very small world, the world of theater. Now, how, how similar is the show that you're performing on stage similar to the movie? To the movie. Um, well, they have taken some of the iconic, here's that word again. Icon. The iconic <laughs> bits from the movie The Killer Rabbit, the, you know, uh, the, the, the monks who hit themselves in the head with the Bible. <laughs> and they've taken that and they put music to it and it is a hysterical show. It's just, it's one of the funniest things I've been in in a long time. That's great. And right. it's fun to sing and dance and do stuff and make people laugh. And you've been to Connecticut before. You've been up in stores. Connecticut's like my second home. I went to boys camp here in Litchfield for eight years. I, okay. I, last summer I was at the Westport Playhouse doing a show, Good Speed Opera. We did a musical there a couple of years ago. So I love coming back to Connecticut. Now, now how long does it take to rehearse for something like this or, or to really get um, all the lines down? About, about uh, three weeks. I personally, uh, I, when I'm notified, and I was notified about the show a while ago, I, I like to uh, learn my lines before uh, I, I go to rehearsal. Three weeks maybe for an icon. I feel like it would take Ryan and I a little bit longer to memorize yeah, lines. four or five at least. <laughs> I, you know, after a while it becomes, uh, it becomes second, na second nature That's to it. Yeah. But you have to drill. You have to do the work for it. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think about stores? He's, he's uh, up in the oh, yeah. stores yeah, there, but my alma mater. Well, what a gorgeous campus. Isn't it lovely? There's an old campus mm -hmm. and a new campus. And then they've just revitalized the town square, and it's called, oddly enough, Town Square. That's it. <laughs> it's very and it's, creative. And it's very they got everything there, anything you want. I mean, let's face it, Subway is open until 2 in the morning. It's uh, very important on a college campus. Yeah. You, can't, you can't go wrong. So were, were, were you up there for, for the big win, for the uh, women's championship? Yeah. So that must have been crazy. Fantastic, fantastic. That's yeah. great. Very good. So can we still get tickets for Spamalot? Yeah, I don't know if I can get you some free tickets. I think you're not okay. No, no, of course you can get up. Of course you can get tickets for, for Trump, but it's, spe it's it's selling very very well. It's it a is. very very popular show, and there's a lot of Monty Python freaks out there, including my wife, who's back in New Jersey, who are so excited about seeing it. So yeah. So get your tickets quick. Yeah, grab them. You can em. find them online, crt.ucon.edu. It's been really fun having you here. Thanks for stopping by. I'd love by. to stay longer, but I'm really hungry. I'm going to go have some breakfast. I understand. That's Go fair. eat. Go eat. <laughs> Next time, come dressed up as uh, King, King Arthur. Thank you. You know?
I am Arthur, King of the Britons. Okay, what, what happened? Why did I do that? <laughs> I don't know. Why not? I'm glad you did, though. Thank you. It was All worth right, it. All right, so coming up, we're going to show you how to make fitness a family affair.